Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to change and use the window layouts for your window screen and for your students. Of course when you first enter class in you and your student will have your window boxes at the top in the small box. Of course you can drag yourself down and your student down and you can manually adjust your windows smaller or bigger by moving it to the left, right, up, down, or from the corner. But this can be time consuming if you're in the middle of a lesson. So I'm gonna show you some ways that you can make some pre-made or use some pre-made layouts. So first I'm gonna show you how to make yourself large on the screen. I actually figured this out accidentally. So if you double click on your image, your window box, you will fill the entire screen. This is good for showing the student something that might be small, like a picture on your phone or a picture that has words on it that might be a little bit difficult to see. You can hold it up and they'll be able to see it easier. Same thing with your student. In my last class, my student wanted to show me a map of her school on her mom's phone, which was really difficult for me to see. So I made her large in the screen, same way, double tap on her picture and it made her bigger and I was able to see the phone a lot easier. I can then also, while I am large in the screen, I can then double tap on my student picture image and that will bring them down right next to me. Since I don't have a student with me, I'll just show you what that would look like. So I would take up half of the screen and then the student would be right next to me. I use this at the beginning of my class for our introductions. Hello, how are you? What did you do today? That way you're having that one-on-one -on -one interaction and it looks like you're having a real conversation with them and you can see each other easier. When you have yourselves both large in the screen by double clicking, you cannot drag yourself back up to the top. It won't let you. In order to go back up to the top and leave this mode, you have to either A, double click on yourself and the student, or the option buttons up here, the one on the left with the arrow says reset video frames. You can click that and it will bring both you and the student back up to the top. When you just drag yourself down, you can just drag yourself back up at any time. Now I'm going to show you how to use some pre-made or make your own layouts. So if I go to the top right corner, and thank you, Emily, for showing this to me, you'll see right next to the video recorder, those four little squares. If you click on that, there'll be a window layout button, and you'll see the no layout that I'm on right now, or the three split screen on the right, and three split screen on the left. So I'll show you how that will look. When I click on it, it doesn't look like there's any layout there. To see the layout, you have to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and drag at the same time. So now while I'm holding that shift key, I can see the three boxes. I can put myself here, let go of the shift key, shift, drag, let go, and I'm in this box or I can move myself down here. If you are a VIP kid teacher, this looks very familiar to you. It's set up the same way. I like to be at the top right. I put the student down below me, and then I put my lesson to the left. So I'll show you how that would look with the lessons. So let's say you're using a PowerPoint. So I would just find the PowerPoint that I want to use. This is my September calendar that I use for talking about the date. So I can then drag this by clicking on the top of the PowerPoint, hold the shift, move it, let go, and now it fills the box completely. So me and the student can both see it a lot easier. Of course, I could move this down here. Oh, where did it go? Yep, I put it with me. Here it is. So I can move it there if I wanted to, but I like to keep it up in the big screen. So that's with a PowerPoint, same thing with a PDF. So let me pick up, oh, here's a PDF. This is a story. So I can again drag, hold down the shift key, and now it makes the PDF large enough to where me and my student can see, and we can go through the lesson or read the story together. The only thing it doesn't work well with is a an image. So I have, PNG alphabet image. I cannot drag 
and let go. It won't fill the screen. So if you have an image, you would have to adjust the size of the image manually to put it into the box. But it works great with PDFs and it works great with PowerPoints. So I'm going to pull up my PowerPoint again. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the window layout. It's the same with the three split screen on the left. You would just drag your image, drag your PowerPoint, and whatever you want down here, your student. So it's the same as the right. I prefer the right side because my camera lines up with my image better. If I'm on the left, I'm having to turn and look to the left too much. So it's ever best for you and your configuration. So now I'm going to show you, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna show you how to create your own layout. So go to the same place, window layout, and you choose create layout template. You can choose the tile mode or free pane. Tile mode, you're just splitting it into tiles. Let's say you have two PowerPoints or a PowerPoint and a PDF that you want to have the students see at the same time. Yes, I could adjust my PowerPoint by dragging manually. Again, that takes a lot of time out of your lesson. So I could split horizontally split vertically, split vertically. Now I have four boxes. I'm going to save that, choose that template, and now I have four boxes. I can put that one there. I can put my calendar up here, and then I can put my PDF down here. So it's gonna make them smaller, of course, so it's gonna be a little more difficult for them to see everything, but it's a good way for you to have everything organized on your screen for the student. And if at any time you want to change that layout and move your boxes, you can do that. You just drag them and it leaves the frame. And then if you wanna go back, you just drag it back into the boxes and then your student could be right below you. The other way to make your own layout click on a create layout template is the free pane. This one, it creates a box and then you just adjust the size and location of the box wherever you want it to be. And then save it. And now you have this option. Again, I could drag one here, one here, one down there, and I can create it any way that you want that works best for your lesson. If you want to use multiple pre-made layouts, you can. You would just have to go up to that box really quick and change the layout option that you want. So if you choose to delete one of those that you made, you can do that too. If you know you're not gonna use that anymore, you can just delete it. That way it's not taking up space in your choices. Hopefully that gives you some ideas that you can use in your classroom. If you have any questions about the templates or if you want me to make a video for something else in class in, just let me know. Bye.